man who touched hearts, overcame unthinkable challenges, set a world record, and he died this week. Paul Alexander spent his entire life in Dallas, and most of those 78 years, he was confined to what is known as an iron lung. Our J.D. Miles tonight to share his incredible life. A little bit of iron lung because I can't breathe alone. The passing of Paul Alexander on Monday was a sad day for those who knew and loved him, including millions of social media followers. My name is Paul Alexander. But the fact that he was able to live as long as he did and accomplish so much is nothing short of remarkable. They told my dad that Paul was going to die. Philip Alexander says polio paralyzed his older brother and forced him to live most of his days inside an iron lung. The devices helped keep polio patients like Paul alive in the 1950s and longer than anyone else ever, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. During that time... And he went to SMU here in Dallas, got his economic degree, and then just out of the blue, I guess he told my parents that... Uh, he wanted to go to law school and got accepted from UT. And a lawyer who learned to paint and write a book without the use of his arms. He wrote with a plastic stick he, in his mouth with a, a, a pencil or a pen on the end. And he had this plastic stick. And it... A supportive group of family and friends made sure Paul kept breathing when his machine would lose power. But he supported them by boosting their spirits with his positive outlook on life. Life here. while also generating a huge following of fans in his later years on social media. His posts sometimes exposed his unrelenting hardship. I love you, sir. But his inspiring messages left a lasting impact on the outside world. It was COVID-19, a disease that Paul knew would likely be fatal if he ever became infected, that eventually claimed his life, but not before he laid claim to a life well lived. The night before he died, he, he just looked at me and said, you know, this is perfect. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.